Firefighters, like instead of you know fighting fire, they just like they came to your house one party and told you to keep that stove off. And then if you uh, start a fire, you gotta go to jail for 20 years. Um, yeah, but there is fucking serious shit. It's a ton of real world scenarios in there. Like for instance, you're walking down the street, you see a guy in a fucking trench coat. You, you say no, you go away. Blah blah blah. Like, like can we? 
Can we all just be real for a second? Yeah. Um, <laughs> sponsor, sponsor. Uh, why is it like that the, still the image of like a drug dealer is still a guy in a trench coat? Like we're in the fucking prohibition era still? Like I'm sorry, I didn't know what bear was pulling from the books of fucking Herbert Hoover's guy to, to dodging the boozy boys and all that. Uh, let me tell ya, if you wanna stay away from that devil's juice, you gotta spot these Capone cronies from a mile away. Uh, they got a trench coat, they got a shine in their shoes, and a dame with no name. It's like, it's outdated. Like, nowadays, you see a guy with a trench coat and a fedora, that is the least threatening man on earth. Like, he might sell you fucking beanie babies, but that's about it. Like, I think in terms of drugs, the modern, like, guy in trench coat is just like, guy with septo piercing, like wearing a beanie and an XL Led Zeppelin tee. And if, if you see that guy, you you run away. Even, even if he's not a drug dealer, he might have a podcast or something. Um, yeah, so the trench coat thing was crazy, but like even fucking crossing or like walking down the street is foreign to like a suburban kid. Because it's like, we don't have fucking sidewalks or crosswalks or anything. You try to walk down the street and just get fucking pancaked by a BMW, you know. And we also, it's a, uh, it's a very old people suburb, so it's even more ridiculous. Like, why would you even teach there in a place where the fucking average hair color is gray? Like, we don't, there's no fucking crack being slinged on these streets. We got only white powder is dandruff. Like, we don't got goddamn gangsters and lowriders. We got fucking Korean war vets and Kia Souls. Uh, but, you know, honestly though, like, honestly, why, why don't drug dealers try to fucking all this? That's an untapped market. Like, dude, have you seen their Walgreens orders? They, they're munching more pills than fucking Pac-Man, Waka Waka, goddamn. It's like, do you understand how easy it would be to sell ecstasy to an old man, okay? You don't. I know. I'm gonna demonstrate it. This is my dare lesson, alright? Dare to fucking... Get an old guy Molly. Right? See. Alright, guy, now that I helped you cross the street, I got something to show ya. <laughs> got a new pill off the market. Uh, we call, I call it the, uh, the pacemaker right here. Let me tell ya, put one of these in your prune juice and you're gonna be flying higher than you and your boys back in Miami. Alright? I'll tell you what, I'll throw on a special. Seven for the price of five, that's a whole fucking week. And every night's gonna be like bingo night, all right? What do you say? Shake on it, old man. All right, shake on it. Come on, you're going. Good, your hand's almost dead. Let's go. Hey, that's right. All right, that's not all, all right? Got something else. You ever collect any of those fucking beanie babies? All right, and that is my shit. Yo.